Movie fans will probably recognize this unusual pistol. It appeared in Deadpool 2, Resident Evil The Final Chapter, and Spectre. It actually consists of two M1911 pistols built in a single frame side by side by the experts at Arsenal Firearms. The gun took six months to create and was first shown in 2012. Interestingly, it has two magazines for eight rounds each attached to a common base. The gun is offered for 38 Super and 45 ACP ammo. The pistol weighs 4.2 pounds without ammunition. The pistol not only looks great, but also poses a challenge to pros. In 2015, master speed shooter Jerry McCulloch took two of these pistols and fired 20 times in one and a half seconds. Hungarian experts are not that far behind. They've created a large caliber sniper rifle that fits in a hunting backpack. The key feature is the bullpup arrangement and cutting edge technology that allows you to shoot without worrying about recoil. The rifle measures 44 inches long in the firing position and 37 in the carry position. It weighs only 25 pounds without ammunition, thanks to the use of aluminium and plastic. The basic cartridge is 12.7 by 99 millimeters, but the barrel can be modified to use 12.7 by 108 millimeters. Despite its modest size, this rifle is perfect for eliminating troops and lightly armored targets. For example, it's capable of penetrating helicopter armor at a distance of up to 1,968.5 feet, and the maximum range of fire is 5,249 feet. In 2002, the Alliant Tech Systems team in the United States won a contract to develop a weapon. They wanted to create an assault rifle that was lighter and more reliable than the M16. In the end, the US branch of the German company Heckler & Koch was involved in the project, and the result is on your screen. The gun makers use the German HK G36 rifle as a basis. It uses 5.56 by 45mm NATO cartridges and comes with 30 round box magazines and 100 round drum magazines. The active use of plastics reduced the weight of the rifle, and one of the prototypes had a weight of 5.7 pounds. The rifle is also modular. For example, it was possible to choose between three quick change barrels and several buttstocks. Serial production was planned for 2006. The German team of weapon experts Rheinmetall offers a whole family of combat modules for a wide range of equipment. Rheinmetall has already sold more than a thousand units to the French, Canadian and Belgian armies. Installation can be carried out on virtually any vehicle. The weight of the compact Field Ranger light version is only 165 pounds. The company also offers a range of unmanned vehicles, on which Field Ranger modules are already mounted. The multi-version can be equipped with additional weapons such as a large caliber machine gun, a 40mm automatic grenade launcher, or as you can see, a rocket launcher. The module you see now autonomously detected the target at a distance of 2.5 miles, asked the operator for permission and engaged it with a 70mm rocket. On your screen is a compact bullpup pistol for 22 LR cartridges. Leaping a bit ahead, the design was not very reliable, so it failed in sales. But the curious engineering work is definitely worth mentioning. The bolt is located inside the frame, but reloading is done from the outside. The trick is in the two cocking handles, located above the muzzle. Warface fans have already figured out what we're going to talk about. This is the Israeli Gilboa Snake Automatic Rifle. The manufacturers try to accomplish two tasks at the same time, to make it more compact whilst increasing its firepower. And they succeeded, although the weapon turned out to be quite unusual. Instead of overthinking it with new ammunition options, magazines and so on, the creators took the AR-15 platform and modified it, adding a second barrel and changing the technical characteristics of the weapon. 
The rifle is still compatible with 5.56x45mm NATO cartridges, but thanks to the short barrels, removable stock and other solutions, the weapon's now more compact. The overall length of the rifle is 31 inches, while the weight without the magazines is about 11 pounds. A gun requiring triangular cartridges. This is exactly the type of weapon that American inventor David Dardick patented in 1954. He tried to crossbreed a pistol and a revolver, combining the advantages of both in a compact body with a minimum of moving parts. The most interesting part of the design is the cartridge. It's known as the tround, combining the words triangle and round. The polymer casing has a triangular shape in transverse cross-section with rounded corners and sides, and the bullet was fully sunk in the case. Two calibers were created, the 22 and the 38 Dardic, and three gun versions were available. The 10-round Model 1100, the 11 or 15-round Model 1500, and the 20-round Model 2000, which never came to fruition. Dardic also tried to adapt the ammunition to automatic weapons and even to rapid-fire aviation guns. Early 1960s, US experts at MB Associates set themselves a goal to make a highly effective, low-noise weapon. Their ideas were implemented in a rocket gun known as the Gyrojet. The weapon is, in fact, a mini rocket launcher that uses small rockets as ammunition. And it was a very quiet weapon, too. Only a hiss was heard when firing. But accuracy was disappointing. At 328 feet, the manufacturer promised a dispersion of about 7 to 10 feet. At the same time, the gun was notorious for misfiring frequently. Even under ideal conditions, there was at least one misfire for every 100 rounds. Another interesting solution from the United States, a pistol for 22 WMR rimfire cartridges. Designed for the civilian market, it's suitable for target practice and small game hunting. Due to the low power cartridges, it's also suitable for self-defense, as the recoil is much lower. This is a Russian-made large-caliber ASH-12 assault rifle. It was designed for the needs of the Russian Federal Security Service Special Forces, and is considered an excellent choice for short and ultra-short distances. The weapon features a bullpup layout and weighs 11.5 pounds without a silencer. The rate of fire is 650 pounds per minute, and the effective range is 984 to 1148 feet. It uses 12.7 by 55 mm STS-130 cartridges, designed specifically for this rifle, with several bullet types to choose from. The armor-piercing version, for example, not only pierces through most armor vests, but is also dangerous to some lightly armored vehicles. A version with integrated underbarrel grenade launcher is also available. A nice surprise for the fans of the Alien franchise. On the screen, you can see the Armat M41A Pulse Rifle, one of the most recognizable sci-fi weapons since 1986. In Terminator 3, for example, it is on the TX robots list of weapons. The weapon was personally designed by James Cameron and assembled by British specialists Simon Atherton and Andrew Fletcher. The design incorporates parts from real weapons, including a Thompson M1A1 submachine gun, a Heckler & Koch MP5 submachine gun, and a Remington 870 rifle. The housing was designed by a car body manufacturer, so the final version was quite heavy. Therefore, it was necessary to make a lighter version to spare the actors unnecessary effort. After the filming, almost all of the copies were disassembled. However, at least one rifle has survived to the present day and is on display at the Royal Armouries Museum in Leeds, UK. In addition, various replicas created by experts from all over the world can be found.
Our selection continues with the OSP-30 flare gun. It was designed for special 12-gauge flares. Night and day versions were produced as well. However, the gun can also be loaded with lead pellets if the owner prefers. The gun is an evolution of an earlier model from 1926. The most important changes are the introduction of a cylindrical coil spring, the change of the grip angle, and simplification, which made the gun cheaper and more reliable. The unloaded weight of the gun is approximately 2.4 pounds. Here's what you can do with a Kalashnikov if you have time, money, and creativity. The Double Star Zombie X AK-47 model looks more like a weapon from a video game. It has a built-in electric chainsaw. The rifle is intended to repel zombie attacks. After all, the zombie apocalypse theme has been popular for years. It has even made it to the SHOT Show, the world's largest trade show for hunting and shooting equipment. The team promised to release a small series at a price of about $1,500, but the website is currently inactive. That chainsaw looks and sounds like a toy. It'd be much cooler if there was a real gas chainsaw, muses one user. What do you think?